the Nairobi branch has been in existence for the last 10 years. It started with 250 members, but currently we are at 900 plus members. It's made up of Nairobi County Stroke, Nairobi Metropolitan Service Doctors, private hospitals like Kenyatta Nairobi Hospital and Mata, and also University of Nairobi Lectures. So what we have achieved so far in all these three sectors, four sectors, in from Nairobi NMS, we have NHIF, as you are all aware, we went on strike last year because doctors didn't have a comprehensive cover of health. But currently, under NMS, we have a comprehensive health cover insurance for all doctors. So we have released 30 doctors for postgraduate studies, and that includes some of the doctors who are doing their, their fellowship studies also. Then we had an issue which we are all aware, the four consultant doctors were in Mama Lucy. They had stayed for more than 24 months without salary. So as we speak, all these doctors have been restated back on payroll since the last two months they have received their salaries. So what we are remaining with is uh, to, for them to get their arrears paid for the last 18, for the last 24 months they have been working. Then HR has become an issue. We don't have we didn't have enough doctors in Nairobi, so we lobbied for increase in doctors to be employed. And so far, NMS have a goodwill, and they employed 145 medical officers. And also, we have some specialists who are employed. Currently, we are still lobbying for pharmacists and dentists to be employed. And our director of health has actually promised that we are going to have 12 doctors, pharmacists to be employed and nine dentists will be employed. That will be done next year, 2022. So we also have promotions. We had some pending promotions which are not done because of uh, doctors not attending the years which are required. So now we have 70, a list of 71 doctors who are going to be promoted in their various job groups. Uh, NMS has started working on the list already. So we have eight doctors will be promoted to job group S, five doctors will be promoted to job group R, 16, 16 doctors will be promoted to job group Q and 42 doctors will be promoted to job group P. This, when all these doctors are promoted, all doctors in Nairobi County will be where they are supposed to be according to their, according to their promotions. Then we have doctors because of devolutions. We had some doctors who didn't have pension scheme. So currently we also negotiated with NMS and they actually have agreed that all doctors need to have a pension scheme, whether contributory or non-contributory. So now we have doctor, we are actually in the planning so that all doctors can get some information and on the same so that they can make informed decision on which pension scheme they can go to. So that one by, by the first three months of the year, all doctors will be having a pension scheme. Then when we go to the private hospitals, we have the Kenyatta National Hospital, which doctors, six doctors were dismissed and actually they stayed out of payroll for like around six months. But we also negotiated with the administration, we went to court and all these six doctors were reinstated back on payroll. And then we have had these doctors, we are actually on court so that all doctors in Kenyatta can be on permanent and pensionable terms as it is in their training and in their manual. So uh, that, that's some of the things we are doing. Currently, we've done CBA negotiations with Kenyatta. We've actually had like six sittings with them and we've almost finalizing the document. Currently, it's in SRC. We are waiting for the feedback from SRC. And then now we finalize the CBA for signing and registration, which will be done in the first quarter of next year. Then we have also these doctors who are employed under UHC and they were under six months contract. So through the National Union, at least these doctors are among the people who have benefited to get the three year, the six months contract to be prolonged to three year contract. And when you go to Nairobi Hospital, currently we have actually done a recruitment drive in Nairobi Hospital and we've managed to recruit 25 more doctors in addition to the numbers which we had initially which were 80 doctors. So now we are at 105 doctors. And then for the medical MOH, we had clinical allowances, which actually we tried and we lobbied for this year, but unfortunately we didn't get anything uh, conclusive as we would have wished for our doctors to get the call allowance. 
but that one we've not given it up yet we are still fighting for it it is some of our priority it's among the priority things we'll do next year all our doctors need to get the call allowance so it's among the quarter thing which will do in the first four years in conjunction with the national office then our main thing also we'll be doing is recruitment we want to do a major recruitment next year for all private hospitals around and within Nairobi so that all doctors can be union members for their own welfare and also for the good of the facility. Thank you and long live the union. <laughs>